All right, so today we're going to go over some pretty basic uh, fire missions. We're going to do polar grids and direct fire. So I've taken the liberty of putting down a couple targets. Uh, we can check the map. Here we have OP1. That's going to be our observer's position. And we are right here. So let's say the observer has gone forward and he's spotted some targets and he's going to be calling in fire missions. So first order of business is to figure out our grid. So we can find that out very easy through our micro dagger. Show micro dagger. And at the top right, you'll see 33TXE. And then just to the right of that is 11830 East. 16610 north. So that um, gives us a very accurate grid on where we are down to one meter. So we can write that down. 1831661. So we can look at our map. So we can look up at the top here. So we need 118 and 166 so it's 1183 which is about here and 1161 so we're about here so we can mark that down so that's where we are so now we know where our observer is observing from and where we are perfect so let's say we get a polar fire mission, and I've already written down some of his information. So um, let's say he's given us a bearing of 1280 and a distance of 415. So we open up our map, we find his position, and we open up our map tool so we can show our small map tool, and we find it drag it up here right so since we know where he our observer is we can put it right there and we know his line on target is 1280 so we find so we hold oops we hold alt and click and hold so we need 1280 so if you look at your map tools every tick on this circle is 20 mils so we go one two one two two zero one two four zero six zero eight zero so about there right so we have our line on target and then down here we have a measuring so each of these is one kilometer so we need about 400 so we can line that up and we got 100 meters two three four and about there perfect so we just make a little mark on the map so where our targets going to be now we can bring up our gps so it seems I've miscalculated our mortar position, so we can just, uh, that's about 10 meters off. It's not too bad. But we can look down at the bottom right of our uh, GPS here, and we can see that it's about a kilometer and a half, so 1,520 meters. So we can write that down, 1520 meters and we need to figure out where we are in relation to that dot so we put our map tools on our position press alt and move it we line it up so this red line is on and we see that our bearing is a little bit past 1400 mils so I'd say about 1405 
and we can just double check our distance measurement. And it's about 1510. So we'll say 1520 because our mark is a little bit off. So 1405 bearing. So now that we have that, we need to see what kind of charge we need on our uh, mortar. So we open up our range table here with ACE Interact. And since this, the range isn't listed on charge zero, we go to charge one and we need to go about 1500 meters. So we see the range 1500. So we need our elevation to be 1168, maybe a little lower just to get that extra 20 meters out. So we need 1168. So we get on our border and you see at the top, there's a number that increases. You'll see it going up eight, nine, 10. So we need 1405. And if you need a little bit more precision, you can zoom in with your plus and minus key on the keyboard. So 1405 and we need 1168 elevation. So at the bottom right, one, one, and you can hold shift to give yourself some more precision there. And then we just adjust. So 14, zero, five, and we're still on charge zero. So we press F, charge one. So now we're on charge medium and just so we can lower our elevation a little bit to give ourselves some more range. So that should be about good. So let's see if we can hit the target. One, two. So in Zeus, I've cheated a little bit. look at our mark and I know the target was this uh, warehouse and we'll wait perfect nice so that was a direct hit that's how it's as easy as it gets so you might notice a little target here so we're going to get a grid reference so pop back into the mortar get it so um, let's pretend we've gotten a call for a grid reference. So the grid is one, three, zero, five, one, seven, one, three. So move that out of the way. So we know it's one, three, zero, five. So about right in the middle and one, seven, one, three. So one three zero one seven one three so about here just a little bit north of the road put note to dot get our map tools again center it on our position and alt left click drag and we get our bearing so a little shy of 1200 so that's about 1390 I would say so bearing 1390 and we can measure our distance so kilometer 1300 about 1320 maybe 1325 I'll say 1325 Right. So open up our range table. 
So we'll need medium charge again. So 1300 is the closest one. So we'll need to be about halfway between these two values here. So we'll say 1230. How's that? For our elevation. Get rid of that. End of order. So a little more. And there we go. Alright, so let's pretend that after all that firing, somebody snuck up on us. So we can take a look here. Uh, let me get out of this. And oh no, a truck has snuck up on us. So this is a lot closer and we don't have time for an observer to call in a fire mission so what we can do is we can get into the gunner seat of the mortar and we can do what's known as direct fire so we can see this and at the bottom right of our little thing here we can see elevation 1232 and just below that um is 1168 so we can actually uh, move this down and we can line these up to be the same and we're at charge zero so that's charge close and if we line these up and fire we'll see in a minute here Ooh. So that's direct fire. So it'll give you a firing solution on whatever's under your crosshair, right under your elevation control. So this is for things where, you know, you're assaulting a position with an infantry unit and you can direct fire targets of opportunity without being having to go through the whole call for fire and getting on target. You can get on target really quickly and get rounds in the air. So that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys can uh, watch what I was doing.